So I haven't did a lot of videos on uh, air spy equipment because uh, I just kind of recently got one and then uh, I wanted something set up remotely in an area that had some maybe some more interesting signals uh, than around here. So anyways, this uh, desktop that you're looking at now is an Intel NUC uh, somewhere else uh, with a air spy R R2 plugged in with like an uh, the uh, Oh gosh, I can't think of the name of the antenna, just the standard antenna that comes, uh, I think, with the uh, package with the HackRF on it. So nothing crazy, um, uh, but it, it, it seems to receive uh, pretty well where it's sitting at. Uh, anyways, this is uh, actually a USB uh, persistent live stick that is plugged into the Intel NUC running the latest uh, Dragon OS. And, uh, and you can build it with... Um, Rufus. A lot of people have had problems and I noticed I had an issue too when I left kind of the default settings and put the persistent setting up to about one or two gigs because I just had a small USB stick uh, and flashed it and then booted I just got you know dropped to the grub menu and what I found is uh, I just went into the Intel NUC and changed it to uh, legacy boot mode and and didn't even remake the stick and it was fine so I'm just wondering I think with uh, Rufus uh, the default settings if you if you notice I think it's on uh, master boot record or maybe it's GPT I can't remember uh, so the default settings maybe you go ahead and flash it that way if you want a persistent USB stick but you gotta have it on legacy I hadn't tried the GPT mode but maybe that's what you need and then you can boot it UEFI usually Dragon OS uh, can boot either or anyways that's a side thing another thing I got set up here is zero tier on both ends uh, just so I'm not showing public IP addresses and whatnot but um, so let me think yeah so zero tier is a couple ways to install it once you have it installed and you have a network created you can use the um, there's directions on there you can use the zero tier CLI to join the network which I have on this end joined and um, let me think so uh, SSH uh, server uh, is not set up so that's why I'm showing the uh, desktop here but normally I would just SSH into the uh, Intel NUC after I installed and set up the the server and you know you secure it however you want in this case it's be on the zero tier network so okay uh, let's see we're gonna take a look at uh, shiny SDR um, talked about it previously before I think it's a pretty cool application there's not been a lot of um, uh, development on it here lately but um, I'm using a fork of shiny SDR that uh, supports Python 3 and uh, so GNU Radio 3.8 uh, the GR uh, Osmo SDR uh, let me think I have GR air modes set up and installed on Dragon OS the radio teletype unfortunately I don't think there was a GNU Radio 3.8 fork of that so that's not working WSJTX is on there Multimon NG RTL433 and then GRDSD so does all of that work I'm pretty sure most of it does I know GR air modes um, I haven't messed with uh, APRS or WSPR uh, and the GRDSD uh, did get some decode on a P25 network so let's let's get it set up here we'll change to uh, just change to the home live directory and so shiny SDR if you take a look at uh, the options that are available uh, we need to create so we'll create a directory we'll just call it YouTube for right now <clears throat> that's gonna create a folder YouTube and you want to edit the config.py come down and I'm going to change this to, uh, I think, uh, 20 second. Let me see. Twenty-eight 
0.002. And I think there's the key that we'll need. And we'll come up here and we'll put air spy equals zero. Okay. Save that file. Do shiny SDR YouTube. So that's going to start up a server here. Yeah, you might see unable to write uh, to plug in catch, but uh, should be fine if you screw up. We should see. There we go. So let's see. So uh, we can see all the modes NFM, WFM, LSB, okay, DSD, APRS 433, PS key 31 unavailable, no module. Yep kind of expected that. Radio teletype. Okay, so this is using a GNU radio um, back end. Now let me think here. So we need to come over. This is the local end here. Alright, so we'll open up a new private window here, and we're going to need to go to the zero tier address internal here, 44 slash, and what else do we need? Let's see here, take note of this address, and if you try and shorten that key, uh, you may end up with problems while trying to load. So let's go 28001. Okay, that should be the address. So Let's see, so now this is over the zero tier network coming from the Intel NUC that has the uh, AirSpy plugged in. Let me think. So we can mess with the gain. There's also stages here if you want to break it down that way. Now you're not getting anything right now, but what will happen is um, I'm trying to think how can we hear the audio. So the audio, yeah, you should be able to hear the audio. When I click on this, going to drop a receiver. So now we've got a receiver. You can probably hear the static. Okay, so this is kind of web-based. So let me think here. So if we do seven, so this is the center freak up here, but you kind of want to mess with this down here. Let's see, I'm trying to remember. So I don't know if you heard that, but that should be using DSD. If we look over here, we can see we had the P25. Let me see if I leave it on there for a second. So you I mean, this is amazing. I, I really um, couldn't have had better luck with this. i try and leave it on here again. I literally messed with this all night um, and had only a... Wow. I don't even want to move it now. So that's DSD. So that's using GRDSD. So you can see out of the box run from a live persistent stick. This is yet another way to use uh, a combination of different applications here, uh, all open source. So you know it's not going to follow uh, the, uh, the 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 channels here uh, like you would with um, SDR trunk or whatever that other application is. But um, yeah. Uh, 
Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm just really surprised that that worked that quickly. Uh, let me think. So, ah, okay. All right, let's try. Let's try and jump over to ten ninety here. So we can see messages decoded, although I'm just not really clear. If I jump back over here, I can see that messages are being decoded. Uh, I just don't know where that is shown in the uh, web portion of this. There is supposed to be a map here, but... Uh, I, don't, I don't see anything there. I mean, there's no locations being so that's using GR air mode so to some extent that is working because we are getting messages decoded oh, let's see we can jump down to see what we got here Now, now keep in mind this is coming over um, the zero tier network too, so I don't know that I'm getting the full. Let's see what do we got here, audience. So there is broadcast FM. Uh, what else can we try? RTL four three three. I don't know that there's anything around there. Let's see. Okay, so I cut out a little chunk of time there where I was messing around um, with trying to find something, but here we can see now we have RTL433, the back end is working uh, with uh, the Shiny SDR, even though there hasn't been uh, really any development, I think, on Shiny SDR for some time now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I think it's pretty unique. I like the fact that it's using GNU Radio behind the scenes, and... Uh, you know, you got your mode S, RTL four three three. We saw DSD work, which I'm blown away by that, and uh, and then your other typical stuff, all with the uh, air spy um, back end there over zero tier uh, Dragon OS on both ends. So so it looks like we got several different devices there. And, uh, you know, if you're not wanting to do the uh, 
spy server and you know you're wanting to do something a little different you can spin this up and then um, I haven't checked but uh, I'm assuming if I have the right kind of browser maybe it's Firefox or Chrome or something on the uh, on uh, iOS uh, I'm sure I could probably pull it up and look at it as well uh, if I remember correctly I messed around with getting this working in Dragon OS Pi 64 but ultimately when I would pull up the browser I don't remember actually seeing anything so I never really mess with it anymore so this is Dragon OS Focal. Alright, thank you.